Okay, this is Fred Burrow Swift Plumbers video sewer inspection. We are going from this clean out back up towards the home. On Sunday, we were out here on an emergency and had to open this drain line. It was a paper blockage caught in the cast iron pipe up here, approximately 10 feet. I did let the tenants know not to use anything thicker than single ply paper and body waste only. Unfortunately, we can see that uh, very hard to get through that scale. You can see the buildup of scale around here. And somebody dumped some rags in here again. So that cast iron is built up. See the big heavy chunks of it in here. Now it may have cracking in it, but you're not going to see the cracks at this point. You can see how narrow the pipe gets right here approximately five feet up towards that house and it just we can get a clear view of it where we couldn't the other day when we did the emergency opening of it it is on clog but you can see that anytime the paper doesn't break into a bunch of peaches it's going to lay in there and then it's going to pile up and you're going to get more and more now there is a lot of hard scale in here i don't recommend going in ever with a cabling machine you can see it's holding water right here at the bottom and I don't recommend going in with a cabling machine or anything like that due to the amount of uh, you could crack the pipe or whatnot in this cast iron it's gonna be really important that they use only the single ply paper to keep this open but you can see this cracking that we see may be just in the scale but it definitely needs high pressure jetting yeah and I'm finding paper in here again. Paper. Rags, as I call them. Rags. Yep. And unfortunately, unfortunately, you guys are still flushing them. Sloth rags. No. Double ply toilet paper. Anything more than single ply paper. Really? It's all rags to me. Well, it's the only single ply, but we're looking at a picture of it right now, just wadded up, sitting in there. Ready to clog you up again. See that? Man. When I said single ply paper only, I, I meant it. Well, yeah, the line doesn't I meant light, it, huh? But but, oh, but if we don't nasty. listen, if we don't listen to me, you're gonna clog up again. That is fucking nasty. What the hell is it? It looks like little things. And you know what? If I were the landlord. Oh, that needs to be routed out big time. Uh, yeah, huh? but you know what I'd do if I were the landlord in this situation? Is that I'd you say, underwater? I'm yep. Sorry. I would say, hey, if you guys keep not flushing single ply paper only, I'm going to make you guys pay to open it. That's God, what I'd say if I was the landlord. Now you're going to see a big bunch of scale right here plugged up. God almighty. So we could see some intrusion it's right a here. Fucking okay. it's a science, I'm recording this video movie. though, all right? Yeah, it's a science fiction movie. We got to keep it PG because it's going online, all right? For, uh, <laughs> go in there and uh, flush the toilet the back there. Has the right to get this go in the, hey, for free, right? Go in there and uh, and flush the toilet for me. Can you have somebody flush the toilet at the the furthest toilet? There's a program where the lines can be uh, replaced, right? Yeah. A house over ten years old. You ever heard of it? No. No? Let's see. We're at the end of that line right there. See the water going backwards. It should be coming out here, not coming back at me. About 24 feet up, where we run into a dead end. Was that the furthest toilet? Oh, that What's, was the single one in the hall. I, I need the furthest thing away. is making it this way but it's it's not only coming out like it's supposed to it's backing up some so that's because that pipe is so restricted
can see the grease build up on the top. That white stuff is grease sticking to the top of the pipe. Okay, what about the kitchen? How far away is the kitchen? This way? Okay, yeah, I need that kitchen line ran. Yeah. Okay, we can see it's flowing out. bottom of the pipe right here that white is grease you can bet on that so this all needs a good washing I'm gonna end this first video the second video is going to focus on the part that was not clogged out here. Just a summary on this video, we know that high pressure jetting would be the next step to kind of wash out these lines. And uh, I'm going to locate uh, where this cable ends at, that 24 feet, and I'll report that back to you at the beginning of the next video. But I'm going to end this so we can upload it 